Hi guys, VST here, Van Epic Stack. Welcome back on my channels. You're not here because you're watching my yellow socks, right? You're here for something else. You've probably seen the title and you clicked on this video because you wanted to understand what the heck AOD notifies. All right, light up your galaxy. And I'm gonna tell you guys a story because we are 2021, but phones were not like this. And some years ago, phones used to have something called the notification light. And indeed every time someone would send you something, a message, or you're gonna get a notification from an application, there would be a dedicated LED that will actually light on your phone. So eventually you're looking up at your phone, from distance you were able to tell, okay, I have a new notification. Now phones become bigger, technology change, we have now these new cutouts, these notches, these tiny drops, we even have these full screen phones like the 7 Pro, etc. And the vendors just decided to just remove the notification LED. Some people are okay with this. Generally, I'm okay with this, but some people still want to have the notification LED. And AOD Notify is actually a tool that is bringing this notification LED functionality back to your phone. And in this video, I'm gonna set it up, review it for you, give you a full tour, and then you're gonna judge for yourself should you take it or not? All right, let's start. I installed the application. Let's press next, guys. To set up this application, please follow the instruction below. You need to select some application that can apparently activate the notification light. So I'm just gonna click here, okay? And I'm gonna select some of the applications. Right now, let's say I'm gonna select only Viber. Viber, okay, selected it. I'm gonna go back. Notification access, needed to recognize arriving notification. Why not? Okay, please select AOD Notify, so very easy, select AOD Notify, grant the necessary permissions, boom, done. Drone screen, needed to show the notification light. Those guys are all the permissions that this application needs to be able to display the notifications. Hit here, please select AOD Notify, again, you need to go into the installed service, and then you can see something called AOD Notify here, then press on, all right, allow, okay. Always on display, when should the always on display be displayed? Hide the always on display, only notification, show always, right? Right now I'm not using AOD display, so I'm just gonna click the first one. If you want to use the always on display and this functionality, you also need the AOD manager, so needed to turn AOD on or off automatically. So let me just show you guys, you just click here, and then you are just installing another application. As simple as that, AOD notify will simply install the AOD manager. Restarting the application, pressing next here, okay? Gonna see. Install AOD Manager, check. Data protection. The application has no internet permission. It cannot send any data, right? In case you're wondering, because we are giving so many permissions, allowing so many things, don't worry. It should be generally safe. Press down, and now plenty of options. Now you might notice that I'm using the Pro version. You can buy that one. If you don't buy it, it's okay. There is also a free version. You can always use the free version. It has some limited functionality, but it's still gonna do the real job. So right now, notification are just disabled, okay? If you want to set them on, we just need to press here. We are presenting with a lot of settings. Not all of these settings, again, are gonna be available if you just use the free version, but most of those are actually gonna be here. So we have notifications here. Select which apps can activate the notification. This is quite clear. I just showed in the beginning, I set up Viber, okay? Then go back. Then we have also some events that can probably trigger the notification light when the phone is fully charged, when the phone is charging, or let's say when you have battery low, which can be actually quite handy. We have scenarios to ignore notification and also mark notification as seen. Let's go and check some of the other options. Notification light. Now, right now, notification light is disabled. Boom, gonna enable it, right? For that, you need still to give some more access. So go into install services, click here, add notify, all right? Allow, okay, now, Notification light is set up, but you are wondering, how is this looking, All right? Very easy guys, click here, boom. Style, you can change notification light style, you can have FX, you have dimensions, let's start with the style. We have right now the camera edge and you can already see. So this is gonna be what you will see on the screen when you receive a notification. But you can go and you can also choose the screen edges. You can just leave the bottom, the left, the right. So let's say I just wanna get the left one, I just gonna wanna get the right one, or let's say I just wanna get the top one, you see? So plenty of options. Or you have also the LED dot. When you click the LED dot, guys, you're gonna see it will appear here, all right? Now, 
I think it goes without saying that for me and for my phone where I have the camera in the center, this here is really the best. This is apparently when the screen is on. You can apparently also set these things when the screen is off and also fingerprint sensor. So all notification light around the fingerprint sensor when the phone is locked. Right now, I'm not gonna use that one. It's just not for my phone and I just have a pretty big sensor, you know, yes, one story, right? So let's see the other options, guys. We have the animation effects. Right now, I have the pulse one. You can see we have the rotate one, which is a nice one. We have the gravity one. Okay, we have the eclipse one. Okay, you see eclipse light. Shimmer, shimmer is a nice one. Then we have flash, okay. And then we have center glow. Okay, this one is not bad. Vertical or even horizontal. Now again, you're not gonna get all of these features, but you're gonna get some of these features. If you want all the features, then buy the tool. Okay, let's go to the Eclipse one. Let's go back and then we have here dimensions. So you can apparently change the camera edge. You can make it thick, you see like this, right? Wow, it's very thick. Or you can make it like very subtle like this. I'm gonna go with that option. You can also resize, you can really play with this, right? Then you have also power saving mode and etc. and etc. I'm just gonna go back. Then we have a notification preview. So the preview is disabled. Let's try to hit this on. Change content and style, okay? This is really how it's gonna look like, all right? You can apparently also play with this. Okay, and then you have the always on display settings. Right now, always on display operation mode, only on notifications. So activate the always on display when notifications arrive and disable the AOD notifications if the notifications are seen. And guys, this is what we're gonna be testing right now. So I'm gonna power off my phone, all right? Now my phone is powered off and now I have another phone in my hand and yes, that's an iPhone. So let me try to send something to myself, sending it. What will happen? Waiting, still nothing. Slow, let's send another one, okay. Boom, I receive a notification. Now my screen will light up, this is the standard scenario, but you can also see that I have here this glowing thing, right? Now, we already see that this thing is working. Usually when I don't have this tool, I never gonna get this thing here, right? So right now my phone is gonna be like this, right? And in case I just look at my phone, I probably see that I have here a new notification from Viber, but I can also see that I have here the notification LED, right? So it can really draw my attention. And again, you can make this even bigger if you want. What I do like the most, and this is only available in the paid version, you have the option to hide the always on display and only show the notification light. And it's quite, quite good. Let's try to test that one as well. So I have selected this option. I'm gonna be double clicking here the phone to power the screen off. Let's do the test. Okay, here I have my testing phone. Let me just send me a random message. Let's see what will happen now. The screen lighted up like normal. Now screen goes off and we should be seeing here the notification LED. And actually this is what I quite like because again, it will really save you some power. I don't wanna see here the always on display, don't like it, but I can see here and actually guys, it's quite, quite visible. So let me just put the phone on the ground, you see? Your attention will be drawn from even probably one to two meters because you're gonna be able to see that in fact you have a notification, right? And this notification LED, again, it was there in the phones two, three years ago, but then eventually all the vendors decided to drop this functionality. Now, luckily we have people like this that develop software to compensate for this thing. I'm gonna link the link down below to this application into the video description. If you like it, please buy it because I absolutely think it's worth it. You see, right now I have the LED notification. If I go inside and I read everything here, it's gonna go away. It absolutely works as if it's their hardware, right? So guys, I really hope that you have enjoyed watching this video. You know what to do. If you happen to like these videos, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. You can also join our Telegram group where we are a bunch of people discussing tech topics. With that said, guys, please stay safe, stay healthy, and we're gonna catch up in one of my next videos. BST over and...